Welcome back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked on a Health Tuesday. And we are discussing a vitally important topic this morning. A big thank you to every individual who has sent through your question on teen suicide prevention via social media platforms. We'll try to get through as many of those as we can in just a moment. Um, and of course, opening the lines. And we've got clinical psychologist Daniel Goldstone, who is ready to answer your questions. And we've got someone on the line right now. Uh, Ken Raj from McDowell in the Mother City, Cape Town. Very good morning. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are yourself? I'm very good, thanks. Um, what is your, your question for Daniel or your comment this morning? Hi, Daniel. Good morning. So basically, uh, as we are talking matric results today, um, I'm sure there's a lot of matriculants basically um, understanding or basically going through a path whereby failure is going to be happening all around. But for me, failure is a road to success at the end of the day. And a lot of teens or matriculants will feel like giving up. Do you think suicide will be related in terms of impulsiveness at that point? All right, good question. Yeah, yeah it is a good question. I mean, there's a possibility that people can use this as a triggering event, but hopefully not. I think, like Ken Raj is saying, um, failure can be a path to success, and hopefully some of our matriculants will see it that way this year. Um, how, how do we prompt that? Because that's quite a, an, you know, it's taken me my good 40 years on this planet to start getting to a point where I can understand mm. that you need failure to, to birth success. How do you instill that in a, in a young person who's going through something like this? Mm -hmm. I think to broaden the focus, you know, so mm. because the matric results are such a built up event in every matriculant's life, and rightly so, yeah. but it becomes the focal point and suddenly they can't see anything else. So I think to broaden the focus and kind of remember that this is just one event in hopefully a long and healthy life and that there are many other ways that they can find success, find their path, do what's best for them. And nothing is final in that space Absolutely. either. Nothing is final in that space. Well, we've had a host of great comments come through on our social media platforms as well. We're going to touch on a couple of those right now. The first one is from Mishka Patel. She says, just have a nice cup of espresso and chill. You always get a second chance in life. Never give up. You are healthy and stay blessed. Coming from Mishka Patel, we have one from Angel Ledwaba. She says, if you didn't make it, try again. It was hectic last year. Do it again with more effort and hope. Um, and then one from Precious as well saying, I got a bachelor's degree. Yay, we are celebrating with you. All the matriculants getting the results today. Um, we've got um, more comments coming through here as well. Uh, for Rosa coming up saying, uh, be strong and always remember that God is in the best of planners. Um, there is um, a reason. A, and there is a reason for the design or the way things turn out. Try again. Um, you know, that seems to be a resounding amount of positivity coming out, um, which is fantastic, but it's, mm. it can be a very, very difficult time. So maybe we should round off speaking specifically to our matrix. What was your, your last piece of advice for anyone that is, is struggling with what they've gone through over mm. the last day? Mm. I think, you know, to listen to everyone who's commented and thanks to them for putting those comments, because it, the message that they're sending is that there are other opportunities. You can try again. This isn't the be all and end all. Daniel, thank you so much for joining us this morning. A hugely vital discussion. We're going to keep the information that um, we have been broadcasting all morning up on our social media platforms. But there you have it again. A number to have written down on speed dial undoubtedly. The South African and Depression and Anxiety Group, SADAG, is a brilliant resource. Um, please make use of it. 0800 567 567. Um, perhaps speaking to someone who, as we said earlier, is a neutral that you don't know personally might be the key to unlocking it, but there is always someone ready to listen. If you are feeling in any way that the pressure of the world, that your anxiety is getting the better of you, speak to someone right now.